Hi, uh, my name's Cohen Grogan and I'm a 25 year old entrepreneur from Perth in Western Australia. And um, an amazing thing happened to, to me yesterday and I've decided to share it in the hope that I can inspire some others to, to really, you know, push for their dreams. Um, yeah, where do I start? I'm a bit tired. I'm in Kuala Lumpur at the moment, which is pretty random. Um, but this is the story of how a guy from a small town um, met Sir Richard Branson and got to pitch his business and, um, and product to him, which is pretty crazy. I still, um, still can't really believe it happened, to be honest. But this is how it did happen. Um, a while ago, my, my grandmother passed away, which was you know, a very, very sad thing. I looked up to her a great deal. <clears throat> And um, she left our family a small amount of money and said to do something useful with it. And uh, not really knowing what that something useful should be, I decided, um, well, one of my friends actually pointed out that Sir Richard Branson was going to be speaking at a, a, an Achievers Conference um, convention that was coming to Perth for the first time. And after looking at the site, I knew immediately what I should do with that money. Uh, so I bought a diamond ticket in the hope that when it came to the, the question time for the people that paid for diamond tickets, that I would be handed the microphone to ask him a question. Um, unfortunately, that didn't pan out. <laughs> but, you know, not wanting to give up and, and having in the back of my mind that my grandma said to do something useful with the small amount of money. I um, jumped online and booked an AirAsia flight to Kuala Lumpur um, because Sir Richard Branson had lost a bet, as I'm sure you know. And um, yeah, he was going to be the air hostess on the flight. So um, I got back, hadn't had a lot of sleep, I'd been working, you know lots of hours um, and decided to write a letter. I started handwriting it. Um, you can't read my handwriting. <laughs> and the only reason I was doing that was because my printer wasn't working um, and with only sort of a few hours to get, get my shit together, um, I ended up um, luckily having my girlfriend there who um, <laughs> figured it all out and, and, and uh, was able to print it, so I typed it out. Um, stuck it in a yellow envelope, made three or four copies of it. Got a copy right here. Um, looked exactly like this to Sir Richard Branson with um, the letter typed out, two pages. <laughs> um, armed with a backpack, a uh, pair of undies, this black shirt as a spare, um, and a return ticket to Kuala Lumpur. I boarded the flight uh, with, with the aim to, um, and the objective to literally uh, physically hand Sir Richard Branson my letter in the hope that he would read it, not really expecting that, um, that anything would come of it. So I... Um, Waited for the right moment. There was a huge media frenzy, um, and I, I didn't really want to get in his way, to be honest. So I, I waited for the time that I thought was right, um, and sort of ambushed him in a way. And, and first, I just asked for a photo because um, that was something you know that would mean a lot to me. And, and um, so I asked for a photo, and you know, being being the kind of guy that he is, he, he said yes. So I got a photo um, with him. And, uh, yeah, after that, um, he started to walk away and, you know, my heart sort of sunk because I was thinking, shit, I haven't, um, I haven't actually done what I came, came on this flight to do and, and spent my last 900 bucks um, to do. So I said, Richard, Richard, <laughs> not knowing really what to call him, um, you know, if, if I thought about it a bit more, I probably would have called him Sir Richard Branson or something like that. Um, but the urgency in my voice, he must have heard because he turned around and um, I said, I was meant to give this letter to you at the conference. And I handed it over 
he stuck it in his little um, Air Asia sort of host air hostess bag and um, said thank you and I uh, didn't really think much more of it. I went and sat down and um, started listening to music and, and working on um, some more work because I didn't want to, you know, sort of waste time while I was on the flight. And uh, a few hours into the flight, an air hostess came up to me and um, she said, are you Cohen Grogan? And I said, yes. And she said, um, can you please follow me? And uh, I thought that was quite strange, <laughs> obviously. Um, but, you know, I had a bit of hope that maybe I would get to meet him, wasn't certain. Um, hoping I didn't piss him off or anything. A lot of things were going through my mind, but I knew what I was there for and that's what I was really hoping for. Um, and anyway, I, I start moving up towards the, um, the premium seat area of, of the flight and um, a red curtain opens and, and someone walks out and then I see uh, Sir Richard Branson in a dress. Don't know whether to, to laugh, um, it looked as, as you would have seen, <laughs> pretty ridiculous. Um, but then I, I just hit me, shit, maybe I'm actually going to get to meet Sir Richard Branson, this person that I've looked up to for so many years. Um, and uh, I don't know, I'm, I don't know why I'm so emotional telling this because I, I wasn't at the time, but I guess, um, yeah, I'm just thinking about how it's all happened and, and my grandma, you know, <laughs> bless her. Um, anyway, so I go in there and um, I get to sit next to Sir Richard Branson um, and, and start pitching, so to speak, my, uh, my business that, that I started with a business partner in a garage 14 months ago um, and, and a product, a software that we've developed called um, Yappy, which is social media that gets people talking. And um, he brought someone else in who uh, was their uh, social media sort of guru. Um, and he started asking, you know, uh, he, he, his team had read the letter and he started asking, um, you know, what the idea was. And, and I told him um, and I said, look, I would love to one day generate enough, enough wealth um, to give back to the world like you do. Um, this is our sort of software that we've spent a long time developing. It's working really well. We've got some good clients on board now. Um, I didn't write the letter to ask you for any um, financial assistance. Um, you know, we are looking for venture capital, um, but that's not why I wrote the letter. I wrote the letter because um, I believe strongly that, um, you know, every person sort of needs a good mentor. So I wrote it in the hope that Sir Richard Branson would be my mentor. Um, knowing he's a busy guy and the reality of it is slim, um, he, you know, obviously probably wasn't the right guy to, to be a mentor um, and, and sort of said that to me. However, um, we started running past what we want to do and, and um, he straight away um, with, you know, his philanthropy mind came up with, with a way that we could... Um, you know, develop our business and product as well as uh, helping um, charities and, and not-for-profits and things. And it just, um, I knew straight after that, that that's what we had to do. Um, so he's um, apparently going to have someone from his team uh, get in touch, in touch with us. Um, and... Uh, yeah, the, the meeting went really well. Um, I don't really know what else to say, but watch this space. I'm, I'm hoping um, something exciting comes of it. I really don't know what to think at the moment. I'm getting ready to jump on a flight back to Perth. Um, yeah, but I, I just wanted to share this story because I think people tend to put boxes around themselves. And if I had have told somebody that I'm forking out $900 to jump on a flight to try and meet Sir Richard Branson or hand deliver him a letter, the majority of people would say that I'm crazy, um, which is why I didn't really tell anyone. I didn't want any doubt. I just wanted to do it. Um, and I did it. And uh, 
I mean, that 20 minutes with Sir Richard Branson has been the best 20 minutes, um, you know, <laughs> that any, any um, entrepreneur or, or businessman um, could ever ask for. And, uh, yeah, I just wanted to share it so that hopefully I can inspire other people that have dreams and ambitions and goals to, you know, go that extra mile and, and keep pushing and, and eventually something will happen. Um, just don't, don't ever have any doubt in your mind that you won't achieve a certain goal and, and you can make it happen. So um, watch this space, guys. I'm not sure what's coming up, but uh, I'm glad that I got to share my story with you. Um, take care and I'm looking forward to a red-eye flight.